What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So in this video, we need to talk about CRO. We need to talk about Kronos and what's going on with it because people are asking me if it's dead or if it's just resting, right? Um, <laughs> it's it's not doing anything, it's not dead, it's, it's not resting, right? Um, we're seeing it at very low lows which create a lot of buying opportunity. And again, like I said yesterday, the whole change that happened, which we can go through a little bit in today's video, um, really ripped off the Band-Aid, right? It ripped off the Band-Aid to, um, you know, take away a lot of those rewards for anybody that's obviously staking um, throughout throughout time. So if you're holding for, let's say if you staked already, you have 180 days from that point in order to gain whatever you can gain, plus all the percentages that you have and, and everything like that and all the extra benefits that you get with those cards. So it's great if you did end up staking for any of the upper tier cards because you're getting a lot in return. You know, you're getting the percentage back, you're getting the APY, you're getting the free Spotify and Netflix and, you know, uh, lounge access and all this extra stuff still for like 180 days. So um, it's not something that you really have to worry about losing right away whenever this does uh, take uh, go into effect. Now, I've been staking for probably two two months now um, on the card. It's it probably been yeah, about two months on the, the $4,000 card. And uh, I still have quite a bit of months to go uh, before any changes go into effect. But I can tell you that I'm not doing anything with the cards anymore. That really doesn't make sense. But CRO still has a ton of value in it. And I'll tell you why it does have a ton of value in this video. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. And make sure you check out some of those links down below. It does help out the channel quite a bit. And if you guys want to um, you know, check out, I was gonna say Kronos, you can get a free $25, but let's dial that back because um, I don't know if that um, that's still there. Plus, you probably don't wanna stay because you're not getting any percentages anyways. So I'm not gonna go ahead and tell you to do that. But uh, you know, if you do wanna just check out uh, crypto.com you can always check it out and see what what the changes are and all that other type of stuff um, but anyways chronos right chronos is currently at 27 cents 27 cents guys 27 cents this is a coin or this is a token that um is um you know was at 50 cents and now you're seeing it literally down 50% uh, percent from where it was, almost 50% from where it was at that 50 cent mark, right? And you're seeing it down 10% in the last 24 hours. The volume, volume is down by 14%, but still over 190 million, which is definitely interesting because typically you're seeing under $100 million worth of volume, but you're just seeing a lot of negative volume that's happening within Kronos. And this is what's great about it is the fact that you're seeing all this negative volume come all at once then you're going to see lower lows where people see buying opportunities and create a lot of uh, strength as this does you know run up and i'm happy to say that i do want to make some more investments i said that i wouldn't buy any more but i might as well i mean majority of my uh, cro is in like the 39 cent range so Obviously, I have a lot of room to go, but I also have to spend like the same amount of money or, you know, maybe even a, a, a little bit less uh, money. But still, I have to spend a lot of money in order to get to a point to where I get halfway from my cost basis to where I am now. So do I believe in it above 39? Yes, I do believe in it above 39. Am I still holding? Yes, I'm still holding. Am I still staking? Unfortunately, yes, I'm still staking over in the um, uh, crypto.com app, but I'm also staking in the DeFi wallet, which I think the DeFi wallet will just give you so much opportunity and that hasn't gone away. So if we look at the market cap, we're looking at 6.8 billion dollar market cap, 6.8 billion dollar market cap. It's down 10%, just like the, the price, obviously, um, but you're seeing it at 6.8 billion. So this just doing a simple 10x would be at a 70 billion dollar market cap this is something that obviously um you know has a lot going for it with especially their strength in marketing where they um you know basically own the um the crypto.com arena um the world cup right they don't own that but just that sponsorship as well um any other piece that they do want to add to their advertising or their their marketing budget and all that other stuff especially with 
hiring actors, um, you know, and top notch actors too, right? You also, um, you know, good athletes as well for commercials and stuff. So there's a lot of different marketing tactics and advertising tactics that they have that um, they spend a lot of money on and they don't do it for no reason. So obviously I think they did this overall pullback or, um, you know, pull of all rewards with the cards and staking benefits, cutting those by quite a bit just to be able to do something pretty big. And this is why I'm thinking that it may end up being in insanely bullish as time goes on <clears throat> because, um, they're starting to get in line, I guess, with what, uh, you know, B and B has to offer, right. B and B, um, you know, Binance coin, and uh, a lot of people believe that this will surpass Binance coin in the end or in the long haul. And I think if they're really gearing up to do something big, they might end up burning off another, uh, you know, 25 billion or 23 billion and getting to a point to where you're holding hundreds of millions, which would be insane for the price ceiling. Now, would the price be affected right away? I don't know. We're not seeing a crazy amount of volume compared to other things, but it does change a lot. Because what people are doing or what they were doing is they were holding on to this position for longer and longer. If you went into um, uh, Coinbase and looked at the typical hold time, you would see that it was at 83, 85 days that people are holding on to it uh, for so long. And when they're holding on to that for so long, uh, you those same people are not really making many moves after that. They're just gathering the passive income and letting it ride. But if we can see people that, you know, get the passive income, but then also make some moves here and there, that's what you really want for a coin. You want the volume. The volume is a good thing for everything. So anyways, currently at 27 cents, it's definitely a buying opportunity for me. Um, it was at a low of 26 cents today, and it was at a high of 31 cents or almost 32 cents. But I definitely see this finding a, a way to push up. Remember, the entire crypto market, I'm seeing that not really make positive moves as well. I mean, if we go back here and we look at the crypto market, it's slightly positive, And that's because you see Bitcoin that's up 0.5%, Ethereum that's up 1.3%. But then you see some other things that actually are making some, some negative moves. I mean, you have Terra Luna that's actually up. Um, slight positives on some, um, some stable coins. You do have Avalanche that's up, but you have Shiba Inu that's down, Polkadot that's down, Dogecoin that's uh, slightly down as well um i would say chronos is definitely taking a hit because of obviously they still have the bad news so um that bad news is still setting in pretty pretty heavily but it's down 31 percent over the last seven days and it's at 27 cents i mean it, it hurts to say and it hurts to see but they i know they have something planned and it's all speculation. This is all speculation. Um, but it doesn't make sense that they would rip the Band-Aid off of everything there and not just, um, you know, a couple of pieces of it. Because, uh, yeah, they definitely have a, a lot of things going for them. So for me, I think, and this is, again, speculation, I think that we'll see something big in the near future, probably somewhere after um, everybody's staking period is up. If they don't have any new staking periods periods that are coming on and people are still signing up, people are still using Kronos to buy things and you know make some movements here and there, then it's a good thing for the investment. But right now, there's no incentive on staking on Crypto.com. Um, when it comes to even just staking your regular amounts, anything over $3,000 gets cut um, for the percentage, right? Um, and anything over a certain period after that, I don't know what it is, it might be $30,000, it gets cut again to 30%. So it's, it's definitely something that you have to look at and say, this has no incentive on staking or holding it on crypto.com. But the DeFi wallet, does have a big incentive because it's still around 10 to 12 percent uh, APY on your investment there. So if you wanted to move everything to DeFi wallet, you can, but you're still holding Kronos. And I think this is this is probably um, I, I I feel like they're definitely doing this for a reason. And again, it's all speculation. It's all speculation. So we'll see. I'll keep covering it, keep talking about it. But right now it's down to 27 cents. I'm going to be buying more. Um, I don't want to buy any more because I don't want to spend any more money right now. But uh, I think this this price is just too, it's too good to pass up. Down 10%, down below 30 cents. 
with uh, how much has been burned off, the complete uh, floor that they do have, the complete uh, ceiling that they have. I definitely see big things for CRO and people are still very bullish on this position as well. So guys, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel quite a bit. Um, if you guys want to join the Shiba Inu Discord group, you can always join the Shiba Inu Discord group down there. Um, but I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.